The sky is the limit, they said. They said your imagination is the only thing holding you back. We discovered that there is more to this story, and I'm going to share with you what we found. My name is Nikolai, and when you're building augmented reality experiences that allow users to move around, you have to think about real hard physical limits. Let's say you have designed an icy virtual world for a much anticipated massively multiplayer online role playing game. You have only had time to create one small ice flow and one main character, the penguin. Your user lives the penguin life on the ice with their friends, but is growing increasingly frustrated by the ever growing number of penguins. The user therefore decides to jump off the ice to explore new and habitable worlds. What happens next? The user's room is too small to fit any more ice flows. The icy world doesn't scale. What should the user do? In this episode, we will talk about how to handle physical boundaries that obstruct the virtual space. A very simple but powerful method to design around any kind of boundary is to put an invisible fence around the user. We built a small example to show you how that works. The fence serves two purposes. First, it tells the user where the virtual world ends. Second, it helps the user not walk into physical walls. Yet it is a fence and it does impose rather direct and hard constraints. So let's look at some other gentler ways to handle physical boundaries. In mobile devices that promote physical movement, such as Project Tango, how do you take into account the hard fact of life that is full of doors and walls and furniture that you can bump into? And how do you leverage this hard reality to make stunning experiences that deliver on the promise of seamlessly blending virtual and physical worlds? If the virtual world has a fixed size, it may or may not fit within the physical space. An ice flow may fit in your room, while a glacier probably won't. As a developer, it's important to be proactive about these challenges. Using a slightly more advanced version of the fence concept, you could let the user define the space by marking its corners. In this example, we put out four markers to fence off the play space. The system automatically fits the virtual world within the available space. As an alternative, you can let the user scan the surroundings using the depth perception system in Project Tango at the beginning of the experience. The system can use this 3D information of the surroundings to calculate a bounding box and build the virtual world within it. If you do not manage to fit the virtual world into the physical, the user may not be able to get to all the places within the world. For these situations, the user can benefit from either the clutch or teleportation modes. In clutch mode, the user pauses motion tracking for a moment. This effectively pins the virtual world to the Project Tango device so the user can rotate it, like here, or move it with them. If the user is facing a physical wall with the virtual world in front of them, the clutch can be used to rotate the virtual world around 180 degrees. And by doing so, they can get places that were out of reach before. The clutch control is powerful, but can be a bit complicated for users so instead, you may want to try teleportation. Teleportation allows the user to jump places. These can be predefined destinations, or in this case, wherever the user taps on the screen. If the virtual world is large, it may just be too much work, work to walk places. Teleportation is a great way to make it easier to get around faster and with less effort. Since the boundary between the experience on screen and in real life are starting to blend, it is important to think about how to do so without confusing the user. Physical boundaries can prevent the user from entering virtual places. Virtual boundaries can cause the user to accidentally ex exit virtual places, which we'll cover in the Designing for Virtual Boundaries episode. To create phenomenal experiences, you must be mindful of the boundaries that exist and handle them seamlessly. Visit our Google Plus community and join us on our journey. We are excited to see what you will build with Project Tango.